what's up all you Tabaholics, this is Paul here aka Paul Abusa back with another video. These days watches are not built to last 10 years like before. They will last you 4, 5 years and then you experience problems. Now recently I experienced the issue of my washing machine not being able to dispense water and I found that it is an easy DIY self fix. So today I'm going to show you how you can fix this issue um, regardless of the brand of the top load washing machine that you own. You can do this on any of the brands because they work in a similar fashion. So if you're interested in that, just stay tuned. So over here we have our Samsung washing machine. I am going to leave the model number below so you know what model I'm using. Now of course when this issue happens, you want to make sure you check everything. Uh, there's nothing wrong with your water outlet or your hose um, or even your filters. So your filters look like this and they shouldn't be blocked. So you need to check all this to ensure that they're all working before you isolate the issue. Now, if all those are okay, your issue will be the solenoid water valve. I've taken the washing machine apart because I need to know what is the part number, then I can order the new one. This is the solenoid water valve. It looks something like this and it connects all the electrical points and the water hose goes into the valve and also injects the water into the washing machine. So I've got it taken apart, I've taken note of the model number and I went ahead to Lazada uh, to purchase one. Depending on the brand of your washing machine, uh, the part number is different. Take the washing machine apart, take the solenoid out and then you'll be able to find out the correct part number to buy. Now you may ask how, how difficult is it for you to take apart the washing machine and I can tell you it's super easy. This is the back of my washing machine and I've taken it out. Um, don't have to worry, it's usually quite easy because it's secured by two screws and several hinges. You can see that there is a hinge here and this clips onto the washing machine. So you just have to identify what secures the cover onto your washing machine and just pry it out. So take out the two screws, pry out the hinge and you're good to go. I won't go into details on how you should disassemble your washing machine because when I assemble it, you would see how it goes back in. Um, and different brands would have different disassembly and assembly. Go by your gut feel, find the screws that attaches the back cover, find the hinges and pry it out. Once you take out the back cover, you would see that the solenoid is present and just remove whatever connections you can find and uh, a hose that is plugged into the solenoid. Just it's as simple as that. And that's how I was able to get to the solenoid itself. Basically, that's it. Now for the purpose of this exercise, um, other than the new solenoid, you're gonna need a couple of tools. Firstly, you're gonna need a pair of gloves in case your hands get wet. Should your hands get wet. You're gonna need a couple of cable ties uh, to zip up the water hose because originally it will be attached. Uh, using cable ties, so you're gonna need new cable ties. Last but not least, you're gonna need a screwdriver and yeah, I like my power drill, so I'm gonna just use this instead. So now let's go into the installation and we're gonna test it out to see if the solenoid is actually the problem. Really hope it is and I can get my washing machine working again uh, instead of going to the laundromat. So let's go. This is how it looks like after the solenoid is dismantled. We have three connectors here and we have a hose here that was previously attached to the solenoid. And it's just as simple as that. We're gonna put in the solenoid, plug in these three connectors, connect this hose and we're good to go. So let's do it. Right, so now everything is back in place. Just got to make sure the wires are routed as it was before. And um, after that, just put two zip ties here at the hose area and we're good to go. But before that, I am going to test 
this thing to see whether it works before I assemble everything and tighten everything down. All right, here we go. Yeah, it works. Woohoo! Ah, I'm so glad it worked. So now I'm gonna put everything back together and I'm gonna do my days of accumulated laundry. I'm gonna show you how to put back the cover and with that, you should be able to know how to take out your own cover, which is in a similar fashion if you have a top load washing machine. So really it's just about popping the hinge back on to the washing machine and that's about it. So now that it's done, I just need to put the screws back on here and here and that's about it. And we're done. So now we just need to pop back the inlet hose here and put the outlet hose into the drainage and we're good to go. So there you have it guys. This is how you solve your water dispensing issue. Just a 10 minute job and you're done. You know, I'll give it maximum 20 minutes. Now just to give you a bit of context, if you get Samsung to do it, they coming down here, all right, if they don't fix it, evaluation and transport is $60. Now, if you get them to fix it, you don't have to pay these $60, but labor charge alone is $80, including GST. If they do fix it, it's gonna be $80 for labor, including the taxes, all right? And that excludes the parts, all right? If the part is gonna cost 100 plus, which they're gonna charge more. Now, I got the, the solenoid from Lazada for just $35. I got a local seller and it delivered to me within two days and I can leave with two days of downtime. Now, if Samsung were to sell it, their service guy is probably gonna charge 100, 100 plus. I'm not sure, all right? But I'm not gonna pay $80 for the labor. Since it's an issue that's gonna be easily solved by a 20 minute job. It's that easy. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you to save some money which is what this channel is about. So with that, we're gonna end off the video. If you excuse me, I got some laundry to do. I will see you in the next one. This is Paul here signing off. Ciao.